I remember through the recruiting process, I really wanted to get a USC offer, and you know, little Jake Hanner was too small to play there, and didn't have enough stars on his name. So, um, you know, I never got that opportunity. But now I get to go in there and play and do everything I can to uh, help our team get a win on Saturday. I think we're going to go in there with that mindset and you know, play as the underdogs and, and do everything we can to uh, you know give the Trojans a fight. There's really nothing to be nervous about. No one expects us to win. The only people that expect us to win are the people in that locker room, the people in this facility. I just think you got to play really hard, gritty football for four quarters. And no matter what the score says, I just think that I'm going to go out there, put my best foot forward. And if the team feels that and know that I'm going to go out there with no fear and no regrets, that's all I can ask. And that's all I can ask my teammates. I mean, textbook, absolutely textbook, guys, in the way you <laughs> want him to answer these questions. Good for him, Steve. He goes up against USC, and he's right. The only people who expect themselves to win, I would assume, is that team. Uh, how lopsided is this? Uh, what will we see from Fresno State against the Trojans? I got to say, Wendy, add me to the list. I think they can win this game. They had a brutal, brutal loss at home to Oregon State last week on the road, and it wasn't Jake Hayner's fault. He went right down the field with a minute left to take the lead, and then the defense had some unfortunate things happen, and Oregon State gets a walk-off win. But Fresno State is more than capable offensively to do this thing. And everybody remembers last year, LSU goes out to Pasadena to play UCLA, and UCLA was everybody's favorite team. The next week, Jake Hayner right there, game-winning touchdown pass, puts his body on the line, the kid is an ultimate playmaker. You can see he doesn't need any extra motivation. He has it. And I just think about Fresno State and what SC looked last week against Stanford. Fresno State has way more team speed to keep up with SC than Stanford did. And that's why I think they have a good chance. Uh, Stanford, Steve, do, do you feel that? Like, when you listen to this man do this interview, I, I was getting chills. Like, Jake Hayner is fearless. He's a baller. And going back to that UCLA game from last year, right, like you saw him with the hip, it's almost like he could barely walk, and he took his team, gave his team victory, two touchdowns, both late in the game in the fourth quarter. So, for me, I think this is Jake Hayner's opportunity to show the world who he is on a national stage against the team right now in the Pac-12, the, the, the name brand. The, the, the coach and the other quarterback, he's always been the under, underdog. And so I can't wait to see what Jake Hayner does this weekend against that team right there, USC. Everyone's darling now that they've started off 2-0. Jake Hayner says, all right, I'm going to show you who I am, and you're going to have to respect me one way or another. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.